And we're rolling. Hey everybody, welcome back to Glam Beauty Life. I am Danielle, Danielle D. Beauty. We have the lovely, lovely, Aww. my good, good friend. Co-host, friend, <laughs> sister, yes. sister friend. Yes, 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 all of that. Yes, yes. so I'm Vivian <laughs> Winter of Winter. Amplify Glamour. So I come to people's homes and do facials and makeup. Of course, Danielle and I are both beauty professionals. She's a makeup artist as well. Um, and she's also an educator as well, and so am I. So we just came to get together, excuse me, to do this channel. And to kind of kick it with you guys, talk about beauty trends and lifestyle stuff. And just kind of kick it for a couple minutes on a, right. on a Tuesday. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Kick it a little yeah. bit. All right. So what did you do this weekend? Anything fun? Anything? So, any working stuff? What did you do? Actually, this weekend was a kind of chill weekend for me, which is what I needed. Yeah, okay. Um, I had to postpone my class until further notice uh, you know things happen you know circumstances beyond my control but luckily I have some really cool people that were you know in your clients yeah, yeah my clients were like oh yeah you know take your time and you know let, let us know when you're going to do the class again so I'm happy for that been planning um for this week with my flowers kids because you know we started um, the makeup class last week so they're planning with that and um, so yeah, just kind of been hanging around. Okay, about cool. You? So actually, I just had a couple of beauty appointments throughout the weekend. But yesterday, Ray and I went to Richmond and we did an engagement suit. So that was oh, really nice. fun. We did the Hilton in Richmond for one of uh, Ray's brides for 2017. Cool. So, hey, Ray. That was a hot. <laughs> so that was a pretty cool day trip. That was really awesome. All right, let's talk about our try and deny it. Okay, so try and deny it is when we are we give you our opinion on different things or different makeup items or hair items or whatever that we like so that's our try it and then the deny it will be what we don't like mm -hmm. we, we but we say don't even buy it girl we already don't bought even, it it's don't not even worth waste it. your time not so worth this it. time we're gonna do i decided to we're gonna do try or deny it drugstore edition yeah so what are like your favorite drugstore brand items beauty items so my first try it would be the milani matte liquid lipstick but okay but drop the mic it is so pigmented. Yeah. It's so pigmented. I do recommend you putting on some type of lip balm, chapstick, or something on yeah. before. So what you do is basically out of the shower, throw that on, go get dressed, then do your yes. makeup. By the time you come back around to your lip, you're ready to you're roll. You're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it is a little, not as drying as the ColourPop, though. Okay. But it can be a little dry. But the pigmentation is bomb. The color stays on all day long. Yeah. And it's, it's really, it's really beautiful color. So I really love those. Okay, so mine would be the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. It's my favorite mascara. It's the yes. most pigmented black ever. You have to get the carbon you black. You have to get the carbon and black. And they make carbon black in waterproof and then non-waterproof. But you don't need the waterproof, guys. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> just apply your, your mascara properly from root to tip. And what I do is I do it on the top of the lash and the bottom. That way it looks like two coats when we only did one. Um, and you don't waste a lot of uh, product that way. But it really gives you cold black lashes. Gives you that fullness. That length yes. is awesome. It is my favorite. I've tried every drugstore mascara and still that for me. Still, still, that love. definitely still, rains still, for me. Still bomb. What's another one you got? Anything so else you try to love? So I've noticed that Elf Cosmetics, um, Eyes, Lips, Face. dot com is in um, select CVSs. Mm -hmm. um, well, they're in the CVS and they're in Target. Their brushes, they really stepped up their brush game. Right? Okay, because I know their brushes, their brushes were pretty decent anyway. Their so brushes were pretty decent, decent when they first came out, but the, I think the white handle brushes were kind of, yeah. You know, I would buy them for my students. I'm like, eh, yeah. you guys, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to yeah. use these brushes. Yeah. But they really stepped up the brush game. I think now they're using different fibers for the bristles. Bomb brushes. Good, 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 yeah. good, good. What about the longevity? Because that's really why I don't so, really invest that much in them because I want to make sure they no, last. No, the longevity for me, I haven't had any elf brush that has fallen. Apart. Okay, cool. I yeah, that's what that's what we need to hear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I love NYX everything, um, mostly, but especially their lips. I love their lips. If I could pick one category from NYX, it's their lips. Absolutely. Their liquid matte lipstick, specifically Monte Carlo, which is a beautiful blue <gasps> base red, which is a red that anyone can wear. Yes. From the most fair to the most deep is gorgeous. You do that with any of your cherry, brickish color lip liners. If you're a deeper girl or even like a Vino current, the very deep wine, if you're super deep, yes. gorgeous. Gorgeous. So that's a super easy way to wear it, and I love that lipstick. It's automatically dressed, so you can wear it to the grocery store. Who cares? Like, yeah. Actually, I had a client on Friday. She was wearing a green jacket, and I I put that Monte Carlo beautiful. lipstick on her. Well, you know, so red gorgeous. and green are complimentary. Again, we were talking about the complimentary colors where Absolutely. you can kind of look around and see billboards, school colors, all the colors that kind of seem to go together, but they're very aesthetically pleasing. Red and green, red and purple, red and blue, yes, red and orange. Those will always be red and yellow. Mm -hmm. Those types of colors. So yes, it's awesome. Alrighty, anything else you want to mention? So let's just go to the Denai. Okay, yeah, okay. let's go ahead and do that. So let's just talk to the Denai. So CoverGirl Queen Collection, I love everything in the brand other than the foundations. Okay, so everything Sorry. but the complexion. 
the complexion category. Like, I love their bronzers. I love the lip glosses. I think yeah. she even has nail polish. But the, the foundation, I think they need to change the formula. Yeah. No matter what shade you have, it has, like, a grayish, like, oh, gold, undertone. Gold. And, you know, we have no, a very, you. if you're if you're uh, African-American or if you're uh, a deeper ethnic skin, we have golden and red undertone. So, to have that gray undertone means that's when you're getting that flashback from the camera. Yes. That's when you're looking at your neck and it's very warm and all of a sudden, though, your face feels very dead, almost not lifeless. Like, no that's problem. what a gray undertone undertone will do for you so just the kind of foundation trip tip to make sure you're matching your undertone so Absolutely. that you get no flashback no none of that just beautiful skin mm -hmm. so you have a deny it real quick? um maybe my deny it would be god there's so many deny it's <laughs> um actually maybelline great lash i know people think it's awesome but just no like i, I have to say it it's like cause one of those things where you're like should i even say it doesn't even matter but yeah, yeah because people still use it no. No, it's not going to give you the length and volume that we can uh, be, that we've become accustomed to. Yeah. 2016 and yes. beyond, 17 and beyond. So you guys just leave it alone. Leave it in the past. Try that um, L'Oreal Voluminous. It will change your life. So so so, 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 so good. I've been so using good. That, that mascara for I think my whole career. Yeah, I have at least at least 10 years. Yes. I mean, I can vividly remember like like I've tried other ones like Maybelline Faulties are nice too, but I oh, just yeah, yeah, nothing yeah, like okay. the Voluminous. Nothing. nothing. Alrighty, so moving on. Did someone you have a question about something? So let's get into some <laughs> girl talk real quick. Okay. So I had a conversation with a friend of mine um this this weekend, you know, she had gotten into an argument with her boyfriend because I, his homeboy saw her like at the club or whatever and she was flirting with somebody. Okay. She didn't give out his number give out her number, she was just kinda lightly flirting. Define flirting. So, like, you know, laughing, ha, 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 you yeah, know, being cutesy. cutesy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But not like, you know, whispering in the yeah, ears, yeah. sitting on his lap sure. or anything like that. So it was sure. really lightweight flirting. So my question to you, Viv, because, you know, Viv is my relationship expert, okay? <laughs> is flirting, like considered, is flirting <laughs> considered cheating? See, I don't... It just depends, because, like, by nature, I'm a funny, kind of, like, touchy, yeah. like, engaging person. I and I would say Dominic is as well. He's very engaging. Like, he works at FedEx, so all his stops, he has them laughing. He's, like, a, a show all the time. Like, mm -hmm. he's on joke time all the time. Mm -hmm. And so, and I can understand how, especially if you're attractive, that can be, like, ooh, okay, yeah. like, a little mm -hmm. bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but that's why I asked him to define flirting, because, like, if you're just saying, oh, you know, whatever. If you're single, meaning, like, you're not married, <laughs> ma'am. Y'all be having these ties, these ties to people that you mm -hmm. don't need to no longer have ties to. So Flirting unless them. I see one of these up and close, two point five, I don't know what to tell you. Flirt with the man, okay? Yeah. Let me I tell mean, you something. First you're of not all, married. Like if you're, you're literally if single. You're flirting with somebody. To me. It's because you're missing something. Yeah. Now, of course, there's a grander picture. Sometimes. Clearly, it's it's a it's lot of time. Most, most of the time, time, I would say all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's because you're missing something at home. Yeah. Like you're missing something with your relationship. Yeah. There's a disconnect there. They say that women, I was literally just talking to Dominic about this. They say that women cheat because we need emotional and we need like to be fed like those words and that caring. Absolutely. And men, men cheat for physical. So when a woman cheats, it's usually because she's not feeling paid attention to or mm -hmm. she's not feeling, you know, that love in that way. Like not in a sexual way, in just literally intimate way. Yeah. And so that's, yeah, that's, and it's so true. I, I definitely think that's so true. So men, take care of your ladies and you don't have to worry about her cheating. Because if she's cheating, then you need to step it up. And figure out what you're doing wrong. Drop <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and, if, and, if, and if he's cheating, you got to step it up, girl. You got to step it up. You got to you step, step it up. It was, what's the problem? Yeah. What, it's the problem. How to bring that Figure fire, that spark. That's what Figure you need. Because that's why he's cheating. Put on your red dress. Huh. Oh, is why I'm we sing the Johnny Girl. Let's just, let's just hop to Oh, real, that's right. That's right. Let's yes. just hop to really quick to um, entertainment. I just want to touch real quick on the new edition story. Great job, BET. Yes. Because you know, I'm going to keep it real. You know, as black folk, was great for y'all to do it wrong, and y'all did it wrong. I'm just gonna keep it real. No, it's just it's funny because it's like the stuff that I never think of. You like, well, this ain't the time. What you talking about? Like, we still recipes. We, we, we don't share recipes. I gotta watch episode three. <laughs> no, let me tell y'all, black folk was ready for BET to mess it up, and BET I did can. a great job. Yeah, they did an amazing they did. job. Did amazing like job. that's, I can't. I don't even. All that energy people spend <laughs> hating could be energy they could be spending making their own empire, making, you know, following their dreams and Absolutely. making their dreams come Absolutely. true. Absolutely. So, on the real, er, if you think I'm about to address you, black people was waiting to, to mess up like Lifetime does, you know, but I ain't waiting to 
But yeah, great job. Yeah, I it was think great. the whole entire cast did an amazing job. Yeah. It was phenomenal. It took me way back to my childhood, no. throughout my you know, teenage years. It was a really nostalgic moment, so I yeah. really enjoyed it. Yeah, I definitely think a lot of people connected to, to the movie. I think it was good. I was reading an article, I can't remember online somewhere, but they were basically saying that, you know, why? oh, why didn't you make this movie out of it? And the producers were like, we could never be able to cover that much content and really be able to develop the characters Without in two one. hours. Yeah, oh, we needed true. literally two hours, yeah. three episodes to be able that. to tell that full yeah. story. Yeah. And so when I saw that, I was like, yeah, that's smart. And shout smart. out to the fine cast of the older cast. The younger cast, they were cute little boys. But the second everyone was crushing so hard. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> She's the, the boy, what's the boy named Bashir? No, don't no, you already know. Well, hold on, names. the boy that played okay. the boy that played Mike Bivens. I didn't. I thought I was gonna see him as the boy that played that's on um, on Empire. No, honey. Okay. <laughs> when he smiled, and that dimple popped up. Chair. Okay. That's all that I'm was saying. when you were like, yes, sir. I was yes, like, okay, ma'am. And good night. And good night. And good night. So, um, let's see. Do you all, do you want to talk about Octavia Davis? We can just kind of skip to so it. So, let's just really talk about um, this past weekend. Yeah. Well, on Sunday, the yeah. SAG Awards. Shout out to Taraji. She's a hometown girl. She's yeah. Tip, um, Timothy Walsh is her hairstylist. Yes. Definitely hooked her up. Um, shout out to Cheryl, who's her makeup artist. She slayed. Yeah. She slayed. At first, when I saw her dress, I was like, but then I really got into it. I yeah. thought it was a beautiful dress. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, really she it. Really and she has a great body shape that she can really wear anything. So I it looks, looks whatever. It looks she was amazing. Her. Janelle Monet had like some two little buns. And mm -hmm. like with her headband was $45,000. Yeah, it's probably hand adorned, like, I'm yeah. sure. Like, yeah. What? Don't lose yeah. that. <laughs> Octavia Spencer's dress. Beautiful. I felt like she really. Okay. Let me just talk about from a fit point of view. All right, so I don't know if y'all know, but I've been wearing those styling all my life. This fit, anyone that's plus size. Yes. When you can break up the distance, the short distance between their neck and chin yes. and the, the, the bottom of their waist, yes. you're going to get length. To put that peplum, to put that stop right there in the middle and give her such a beautiful bust line, yeah. such beautiful arms, then give her a little flirt at the bottom, but yeah. not too long because she still has short, a short girl. Yes. Make the peplum stop right at the hip, then give her a full skin, skin skirt straight straight line skirt right down at the bottom I was so here for beautiful I was so, so here for I'm beautiful. so glad that they decided to go another route and make her a little more elegant and it's by Tadashi Tadashi is definitely an elegant oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually for my engagement photos I think that's the because they sell it at Nordstrom too oh, okay. Nordstrom rack it's a really nice dress y'all if y'all looking for like a kind of a dress company special occasion that you can just have in your closet that's not too much but definitely yeah yeah Tadashi's a good one and they're affordable so, yeah. yeah so one thing that I'm really excited about seeing with the Golden Globe and with the SAG Awards about you know just the makeup and hair I think everyone is really staying true to themselves yeah I think that everyone is really representing themselves well and just don't really care about being on the worst dress list or the best dress mm -hmm. list they're just doing yeah them, you know and I mean? that's the thing is like to even sit there and address the people that were waiting on BET to fail or whatever like I don't even see people like that because it's like there's so many opportunities out here to do it to do the I, same thing yes you know and so yeah and it's so cool to kind of see like like she was saying everybody just kind of like just make it happen just make it happen they don't care Yep. Which is, which what is anyone says. Because guess what? People are going to talk about you whether you're doing bad or good. Exactly. And so just to give them something to talk like, about. Oh, okay. Give them to talk about my little shaved head. I didn't care. You know, I've been yeah. natural for 11 years. Everyone sees me for hair. Yeah. I just and the thing about it is, is like, just because you're on the struggle bus, my hair is going to go back immediately. Yeah. So we're good. <laughs> I mean, not me, because you see, yeah. I got this. <laughs> but I'm like spirit animal for yeah. her hair. <laughs> Yes. But anyway, let's <laughs> talk about the um just how skin is in. Skin is skin. Let's talk about Thank it. Thank you please. for the skin. Yes. Thank you. Thank I you love for to see the your pores. Skin. I want to see your pores. I want to see your shine. Listen, I want to see I a wanna slight, see. healthy dew glow. Yes. Just to, because we know that natural skin has a little bit of shine to it. That's the mark of natural skin versus the mark of dehydrated, which will look dull. Yeah. You know, um, and that will come from not exfoliating. But skin, guys. In. Take care of your skin. I and you can do a sheer one. to medium foundation. Like, this is honestly L'Oreal True Match. It's sheer to medium. And if you want, you can build the coverage. I have a little spot that I've covered, but you can't see it. And it's perfect. It, but it still looks like natural skin. We have dimensions on our face. So we're yes. meant to have shine here, matte there. You know, it, yeah. it, we're meant to have the dimension and the texture of our skin. The texture of the yeah. look. So yeah. shout out to all the makeup artists that are really just enhancing skin and not really covering up. Yes. You know, a lot of the imperfections. I like to see a little imperfection. I love it. Yeah. And actually, it's really hard to do natural makeup but I'll, I'm always telling my students like step away because if you just stepped away in that time I told you to step away the first time yeah we wouldn't have gone overboard it's Absolutely. always better to do less always, it always. It just less is definitely more always always yeah 
So, so let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a question. We got a question. So, so real quick, saying. because we, we got to get ready to yeah. be done. But okay, so uh, we got an email, and the girl pretty much cannot get her girl, his, her boyfriend, away from the PS4. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Wait, let me just read the question real quick. How do I convince my boyfriend to spend more time with me and stop playing PS4? That's just pretty much what it was. <laughs> okay, and the thing is, like, you have to understand that, like, if you're the type of person who wants to spend time with people, and you, when you're dating this guy, see that he's all up in his PS4 and he's doing this because he's still doing it, you just want to act like you didn't see it, you have to make that decision whether that's something that you want to deal with or not. Like, me, I'm gone because I need to be outside, I need to be in nature, I need to be walking around, I need to be, like, breathe, like, out. You know yeah. what I mean? But if someone just wants to stay in the house and watch movies all day and do PS4, a lot of women like that. I don't. So yeah. knowing that, I have to make sure I curb my decision when I'm dating people based on I what I know. That. Yeah. But let me tell you something, sister. Okay. Walk butt naked in front of him. Okay. And stand in front of the TV yeah. and see what he does. See what kind of attention you get then. If that doesn't work, you need to walk your well. Put walk your clothes out back and on never first. come and never go back again. <laughs> put your clothes on first and never go back again. Never go back again. Ever. Also, you have to make like I feel like when it gets to that point where someone is so focused on something that has nothing to do with you, you have to make demands. You have to make yeah. demands. You have to let them know what you want because if you keep letting stuff just kind of you know Side. fall by the wayside, wayside, sweep stuff under the rug, yeah. never address it, it's not gonna be. Address it, yeah. you're be, and the you're thing is, like, people don't want to address it because they're scared to rock the boat and they're scared the person won't like them anymore. Won't want listen, but look, trust me, I will, the boat. I will tell you the person that's for you won't mind any of that. Mm -hmm. So, if you are scared to be yourself because you know that someone's reaction won't be receptive to it, then you need to run, and I mean that in the most Absol sincere way. Absolutely, yeah. I am the captain of the boat, I will say how I feel. You can take it and leave it. That's yeah. just how sometimes you have to be. Yeah. In a respectful way, though. Yeah. Right? Oh, like, always. You know, and that's actually right how now, you can. Right? That's actually how you can get more influence, get people to do what you want more. Because we say in the south, you can catch more um, bees with honey than vinegar. Absolutely. So if you can still, get, you know, say what you want, get your message across and across in a nice way and very genuine way, people do anything. You know, yeah. they will literally like move your furniture for your, in your house for you if you <laughs> ask the right way. You know. That is so true. Um, okay. So, so true. yeah. Let's so see. you guys, if you have any more questions if you guys want to see anything or have any you know suggestions for us leave a comment below let us know share this video share 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 yes share. please we because appreciate your support we see you guys commenting we see everyone commenting on the lives and yes. actually we've had a lot of comments yes. on the youtube and everything too but we want to make sure you guys participate with us and engage and share share, share. more than anything please because we need you guys to show your beautiful friends yes please your beautiful um, beautiful if you friends. have any questions um, please email us at glambeautylife at gmail.com. You can also reach out to us at glambeautylife on Instagram, yes, Facebook. Facebook and Instagram. And for me, you can reach me personally if you wanted to, ever. Yes. <laughs> I'm Ms. Danielle D. Beauty. That's on all social medias. And with Vivian, it's Vivian Winter with Winter with the Y on all social medias as well. Yes. We want to thank you so, so very much for joining us for our fourth episode. And we'll see you guys next week. See you next Tuesday. Same place, Bye. same time.